Jesus. Yes. Dan, do not go any further than where you're standing right now. <laughs> we have we have many people that we uh, enjoy uh, sharing our lives with, and we have some people that are going to come and join us later. Unfortunately, one poor little fellow feels <laughs> kind of sick, so Matt Matt's still here, but he was going to come and and sing a song for us. We are going to have Mr. Metz get up with us as well. But we have some wonderful, wonderful people here that are, have supported us over the years. Um, I know. See, I told you. Oh my God. Oh my God. We have one particular lady who has supported, um, promoted, got us jobs. She has decided that she is going to hand the reins um, to some other people to do open mics because she and her husband um, have ventures that they need to take care of. So, Miss Nita, would you please come up here? She's a blessing. And as we love everyone that we've met in ACMA, but I think thank you. I think it was I think it was Nita and Dan that we met first when we started doing open mics and we came up to Fort Myers to <laughs> three fishermen. Um, <laughs> I know, I'm being good. I am being good. And so um Dan always, always has been there. Don't, no, 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 no. Stay right where you are. Stay right where you are. Because now it's your turn, my dear sir. Because we have loved you and you have taken care of us. You've made us all sound so good. And there was this particular... <laughs> Actually... <laughs> oh, that was Matt. <laughs> So actually, the last time we together, we were together, we were talking about you know Dan possibly being here to run the sound for us. So we just thought maybe we just give him the night off. But Dan, we love you, and now can you come to the stage? <laughs> Thank you, Dan. We love you, baby. Sure. <laughs> hey, Dan. The Clydesdale's on the farm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so now that's the end of the crying time. Except when I get to the moment where I have another sure, young lady sure. in the audience. And she reminded me later, earlier this evening that it's getting later than we all think. I've known one particular person in this audience for over and almost 50 years. Wow. I thought you were only 35. Thank you so much. I get brownie points. So later on, we're going to have her stand up because we're going to sing a song that my wonderful husband has written about her. And this will be the opportunity. You know, Bob is taking this, you know. So you'll be able to get your song finally something. <laughs> so here we go, but thank you once again to uh, to Deb and Mike once again. <laughs> Hello, I have to go I have to go get a tissue and a couple of those songs. <laughs> I don't do very well. I'm just going to pay for eye candy, I just wanted to tell you guys. No, no, actually, we, we saved the best for last because as you notice, we've got this other lovely couple to our right, and they are another husband and wife team that we have known for a very long time. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Known 
this lovely couple for quite some time, and we do jams together, and we we in each other's houses and open mics, and we do all kinds of stuff together. So we we were so blessed when when Bob and Lucia said they were going to come and sing with us and and play with us and. The new super group. We yeah. right. So we're gonna be on the road soon. We just got no winter <laughs> winter. Yeah, we'll be on the road. Yeah. Well you keep drinking that rum and I'll be stepping over. Some of these songs you're gonna know, some of these songs are brand new to you. They're they're brand new to us as well, but um we're also going to be doing um, some old favorites, and then we're going to do some covers later on. And then in our second set, we're going to have Mr. Bill Metz get up and sing one of his songs. And Billy Boy. Billy Boy. So, um, let's get to it. Everyone that knows us knows that we live together, we sing together, and we work together. So, therefore, we are crazy. And we are crazy. <laughs> Crazy about the way the sun comes up Crazy. 
This all takes place right on her back door, really, because every year we would all get together for her birthday and we would camp out on her back lawn and sometimes um, the boys would come and scare the crap. What? What? what they didn't hear that out there. Scare the crap. Oh, scare the and one of those, one of those young men, un unfortunately, he lost his life just a few weeks ago to cancer. And so um, Jed is there. And he's still laughing at us because he heard us all scream. But this song was written because I always tell my stories about home, and it's called To Be Home. And a lot of it has to do with this young lady over here and her birthday and <coughs> waiting in the stream and uh, going over to Day's store and Jacking ourselves up on chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and what was my favorite of all time? Reese's Peanut. This one's called To Be Home.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm loving that. That's this a, next song. That's in her cold range. <laughs> that's in her cold range. Thank God you, bless her. Uh, little Lucia. This next song, um, Mark wrote about um, one of the local newscasters here in town. Her name is um, Natasha Verma. And she uh, did her dissertation in her, um, for her, she's a very poorly educated girl. She's probably like 25 years old and she's getting a doctorate. Anyway, <laughs> she's like, is she, is she like 22? Yeah, I'm 22. I'll go ahead and make me eat the worst. She's 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 really she's a very accomplished young lady, and she went to do a a, a documentary. She intended to go into the um, gym where Muhammad Ali and and the like had trained. And when she went into this gym, she found this young lady, and her name is Heather Hardy. And this is what this is what this song is written about. It's written about Heather and all of uh, Rise uh, from the Ashes, Little Rise from the Ashes story. It's homeless with her daughter, lost her house in uh, Hurricane Sandy, she's from Brooklyn, New York. Okay, you're about to see my chops about this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this, is a, this is a happy song because she's... This really is. Okay. Yeah, I'll sell it somewhere else, right? Yeah. <laughs> Deb's like, listen, nobody cried, we got boxes of tissue going on. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't have a bottle of Jack over there on the floor. It's called Hardy. It's one of the newer ones. I got a couple of new ones too. No defeat. 
face Look up at me as you lay at my feet I'm Conversation of what it was uh, uh, a jam that we were all were doing, but a lot of the music family we were sitting around, we were just talking about how country music today is not the country music of when our parents was, were, were growing up. So um, the next morning, as it always does with this handsome man being to my left, no, if you are the only one, stop looking. <laughs> it's just a tree. It's just a tree. <laughs> So, <laughs> thank you, dear. You just found me a treat. <laughs> right, Bob? Yeah. I know. So, he woke up the next day and he wrote this song, and this song is called Tender Kisses. Thank you. 
uh, street that was not clean, there was not one wall that wasn't repainted, and this is called after the flood. There's a place in the soul where the music sings. In the heart of hearts, tugging on the strings. Feel the Tennessee wind begging and howling to the ones who hear the music calling. Symphony, a lonesome melody.
I discovered my husband has a whole other life that I didn't know about. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> I'm still here, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what bad, I say. Huh? You know what I'm always no, saying. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't. I can't say that. <laughs> you can't say. <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna say. You know, they don't know what you're gonna say. I know. Yeah, I have it's my, it's my, yeah. it's my little stand-up story that years ago we were in Maine and Mark and I were going to have like, a sub at a sub shop. And it was just the owner and this little old lady and Mark and I. And we wrote in our subs and. The owner turned around and looked at Mark and said, well, this isn't the girl you had here yesterday. <laughs> and Mark's going, shh, it was my girlfriend. Well, I, I'm kind of chuckling. And this sweet little kind little old lady turned around and looked at me. She goes, well, you know what, dear? You wouldn't think it would be so funny if it was true. 